My mindset was like, we gotta sell, we gotta sell. My name is Topher Benderson. I've come all the way from Barracuda, New Mexico on the search to find the hashtag secret to sale. How did you make that transition between an individual rep to becoming a manager? Why did you want to do that in the first place? So I spent 10 years as an individual contributor. And then in 1995, we happened to sell our billing engine to Microsoft. And all of a sudden, and we started to get inbound leads. And so my manager at the time turned to me and he said, Lars, you haven't sold a thing uh, since you've been here. You have two choices. You can sell something and keep your job or you can help me fix this inbound lead problem. So I said, you know what, Bernie, I will take that problem on. We were growing rapidly, you know, and it was a great time, right? Because they were happy to take chances on people and they gave me a lot of opportunities. So I was um, a salesperson at Bloomingdale's and then I became an executive assistant because I was trying to move up and my mom said, you know, take any opportunity you can. So I, I did operations for these 32 women. And then unfortunately, the manager was no longer with the company. In the interim, in the basically year it took them to find someone, I ran that business. What kind of challenges did you face and what did you learn? I had it through this interesting philosophy of like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Okay, if I was someone who was good at this job, what would they do? And I, I did this thing called acting as if. If I act as if the person who's gonna do this job, what would she do? She'd communicate with the buyers. She'd let her team know this and this. She would follow up on this. Okay, let me just try doing that. You know, it's that 10,000 hours of practicing, of doing it, of showing up, of learning. So I became a really good manager by pretending to be a good manager. And there was a point, I remember, three to six months into it, where I was getting drowned with inbound leads. My boss, Bernie, recognized that and he said, why haven't you hired anyone? And I said, well, what do you mean hired anyone? Well, how do I do it? He's like, Lars, don't ask me how to do it. Figure it out. I finally figured it out. I never went to him again. And I just iterated. I A-B split tested. I did all the things that we do today through technology and annually. And sure enough, I ended up hiring my first telemarketer. And then I ended up in six months with a team of about five people. We ended up deciding together that we'd be called account development reps. And that was in 1997. It was just a really cool thing. Here I had built my first team. I was a frontline sales manager and we were innovating and iterating on all of the processes that uh, a lot of us uh, in the Valley are doing today. You know, I mean, that first year of management was tough. My mindset was like, we gotta sell, we gotta sell. And over time you learn. The toughest thing about management is that your job is to lift everyone up, right? And, and keep the team improving. and everything that sets those folks up for success. And they're never gonna be you, right? I have, a, I have a specific way I do things. Other people have very different ways of doing things. Some people can just like connect, like nobody's business. You know, other people have to have a very intellectual conversation. Especially as a frontline manager, my job is to make them the best them that they can be.